Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. Psalm 27, verse 4. A.J. Gossip used to love to tell a story about Mungo Park, the great explorer. He had been journeying for days and miles in the wilds of China in the most desolate surroundings. Then, quite suddenly, he saw on the ground at his feet a little blue flower, and as he saw it, he said gently, God has been here. This is exactly how Jesus felt. There is always loveliness to see. Again, to quote A.J. Gossip, Gossip used to say of the pessimism of Thomas Hardy that if Hardy looked at a field green with grass and many colored with the wildflowers, all that he saw was the muck heap in the corner. There is always loveliness, a glimpse of the sky and the clouds, or the stars and the vault of heaven, even the city streets, the wonder and the concentration in the eyes of a child, two young people walking together, lost in their own world of happiness, with no eyes for anything or anyone but each other, a kind thing done to us, a word of praise or thanks spoken when we least expect it, a friendship and a personal relationship in which is the wonder of beauty. Even when the world is at its worst, and when life is at its worst, there is still beauty left, and we should never forget it. It is not that to look at the beauty and to think about the beauty is an escape from reality. Far from it. Any such glimpse of beauty should move us to three things. First, it should move us to the memory of God, the awareness that this is God's world and that not even the sin and the thoughtlessness and the selfishness of man can entirely obliterate the beauty of God. Second, it should move us to gratitude and to the realization that there is always something left for which we ought to give thanks. And finally, it should move us to resolution and to action, so that as far as we can, we may increase the beauty and remove the ugliness that is within this world. What about you today? Are you able to see the loveliness that God has placed in this world for His people to behold? Do you sometimes get bogged down in the muck and mire that obscures our view of those things which are truly lovely? Why not ask God today for the vision to see His beauty in the world and to help others around you to do the same? This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. I'm in the way, the bright and shining way. I'm in the glory land, glory land way. Telling the world that Jesus saves today. Yes, I'm in the glory land, glory land way. I'm in the glory land, glory land way. I'm in the glory land, glory land way. Heaven is nearer and the way grow with clearer for. I'm in call today. Get in the glory land, glory land way. Wonders come home, oh, hasten to obey.